Howdy folks, welcome back to Silver Run Forest. Another beautiful fall day here in September. I've been busy since the last video. We got those trees all in and I cleaned up the stumps and all the uh, sawdust and got new trees planted. I used up the rest of that pallet of the uh, lodgepole pine. So in a couple, three years, we should have some more trees up there. Uh, today we're gonna go deal with sheep. And I've got the little Mahindra here. Uh, this is the forks. The forks, for some reason, go through the trailer. But there's forks there. And this is a bunch of honey. I can't remember if I showed it on a video. But I've got a beehive over at the house. So every few months, we end up with a pallet full of honey. So we've got that. And we're going to head on down to the sheep farm via the Silver Run Market. So we need to get a bunch of wool moved over to the spinnery and I need to get water and grass filled back up for the sheep. They're down to about half or less. So that's the plan for this video. Probably not going to be a super long one. Especially if I only go 20, but I find it easier just to use the cruise control. For long drives, instead of just going full speed everywhere. <laughs> All right. I may have, I think I have traffic turned off actually. It was being such a pain in the butt with AI getting stuck. So the streets are kind of bare. They improved the traffic a little bit as far as like looking ahead. But now they'll stop even if you're beside them, like quite a ways away. So it's really strange. And I was using auto drive to have stuff run all over the map. Whoa, what am I, what's going on here? Why were you pulling to the left? That was weird. I did forget to go to the market though. What the heck is going on? <laughs> I can't turn right? No, now I can turn right. There's gremlins. Not sure what's going on. Yeah, I forgot to turn into the market. I was sitting there yapping away. Hope you all are doing well. I'm trying to get this recorded here before the weekend. This will probably come out Wednesday-ish. It's Friday now. I'm trying to get some recording done before I head out for the weekend with some family holiday stuff going on. Some Christmas celebrations. And are you going to sell? Wonder, do I have to... Is this up too high? No, it's too heavy. Alright, ready? we got to lift together. Oh, oh, it's heavy. Yeah, I guess it was just a little too high sitting there in the Mahindra. So it's only $381, but you know, it's something fun to do. Get some honey every once in a while. So I think we can get a pallet of wool in the back and then a couple on the trailer. So we'll see how that goes. I had the forks up at the farm, but the skid steer is down here. So. Speaking of skid steer, I can't remember. Oh, the attachment trailer, I think, is still up uh, where I was getting the trees done in the last video. Alright, so let's put this guy here. We'll get the trailer loaded up. Then we'll see about... Uh, oh, come on. I have to start the engine to put the tailgate down? Come on, farm sim. <laughs> so dumb. 
All right, let's go get the skid steer. Yeah, I know. Sheep are doing awesome. Um, I sold off all of the grown ups. So take a look here. So now we've got 10 that are like half grown, and we got some that are just about full grown. And they're going to be spitting out wool like crazy once all these uh, get mature. So we're probably going to have more wool than we know what to do with, but we can always sell off the excess fabric. I did do another cut on the field, so we've got plenty of grass. I'm not sure what's up with that. <laughs> Two different layers there. Odd. All right, let me leave the mulcher here. And we'll run over and get the pallets loaded, hopefully. I need to get some grass planted there. It's a little bit bare. I have been doing maintenance on most of the vehicles. I think with the vehicle maintenance mod that I have, uh, you're you're better off, and maybe it's the same for the base game, you're better off fixing stuff regularly, not letting it get too low. So I'd kind of made the mistake of letting it get too low. Now the pallet physics seem a little wonky in 22, at least they have in the, with the metal pallets. We'll see how these do. These things are fairly hefty too. We'll see how this goes. Maybe the Mahindra is not the, the best option here. I think I want to put that on from the back maybe. Get that little one sitting there out in the way. Let's see if we can... Whoa, whoa, look out. Tiptoe over here. Didn't really leave myself enough room. Yeah, we'll see if we can get it up on here. Yeah, the collision on this trailer is like way below the visual, so it's doing strange things. My cat thinks I should be paying attention to her instead of recording videos. If you can hear the cat in the background, that's what's going on. It's not on there very straight, but it's on there. Now, I must have accidentally knocked that one pallet off to the side, because you can see it's not full. Yeah, the collisions on these pallets are just no good at all. That's that's lifting the pallet, even though the forks are on top. Because, you know, reasons. So, a lot of the time I've just been either using super strength or auto load to move this when I'm off camera. When I'm on camera, we'll try to do it legit. Whoa. Go up just a bit. In real life, you wouldn't want to puncture the bales. That'll work for now. I think two is probably going to be pushing it. So we might just leave that right there. Maybe I won't try to get one in the back of the Mandra. That might be that might be pushing it. Let's call this good and see if we can get over there. Because it's already, you can see it's already pretty squatty. Yeah, 
Put on there. Tailgate back up. How are we looking here? Let's use our crews to manage our speed. Yeah, it's handling it okay. Let's go over here around through the hay field. I did use uh, course play to mow and rake this, then I bailed it by hand. Kind of struggled with course play. It seems a lot harder to use than in previous versions. But I finally got it to where it wouldn't run into stuff. So I've kind of lost track uh, in the videos of where I'm at with the boat yard. But I did forget to show the boat launch. Um, I've been selling a little bit of lumber and stuff. So we might try that again. And then actually try to catch the boat launch this time. <laughs> Still haven't decided if I want to buy it or not. I'm tempted to buy it just, you know, so we have it. So we are doing okay on money. I've been selling a lot of stuff. A lot of the productions are selling. There we go. Now we got a lot more room to get lined up. It's going to be getting dark here soon. Okay, I guess we're inside the trailer. Cool. <laughs> this is a mod, so, you know, mod quality varies even more than the base game stuff. I wonder if I put that partial pallet back in here, will it go ahead and fill it up? I'll try that. I don't think it will, but it'd be something to try. This grass really gets all over everything. See how green we are just because I drove through a little bit of that field. Been washing a lot of equipment too. It's gotten really dirty. In fact, I just washed this before I came down here. And that's how dirty it got just driving down here and then into the grass. Kind of crazy. All right, let's grab this and we'll stick it back in the area. And I'm curious if tomorrow, you know, we get any more wool on it. So it's 87%. Try to remember that. Let's just get it back here in the pallet area. There you go. And you can see we got almost a full thing of grass. Got a lot more grass in there. This guy over out of the way. And I think we're done with it for now. I'm wondering if I can pull this water trailer with Mahindra, if that's gonna be too much. Oh hey, let's uh let's put some straps on there. I just noticed today this has like gold rims on it. <laughs> I did notice that when I bought it. Getting all fancy. I really like this lighting mod. Especially towards uh, sunset. Are you full or? Oh, there we go. I just wasn't quite in the trigger. So we should be spitting out some fabric here before too long. All right, that's that. Let's hook up the water trailer and see 
See how it feels on the hitch, empty. I think it's empty. Uh, before we try putting any water in it. It's fairly well balanced over the axles, but I want to push it too far. If, if I need to, I'll get the, uh, the truck or the tractor down here. It's a little short trailers, a bit of a challenge to back up. All right, UTV, how are, how are you feeling? That's what we call these things. Some people call them side-by-sides. Whoa! Eh, it might be okay. It's 11% full. I traded, I think, last time I showed these, I had the bigger trailer. I ended up selling that. And I was going to get the water tank that goes on the truck. Uh, but it only has that option for the single cab, and I've got the crew cab. So that didn't work out. Alright, before we head back to the farm, let me go ahead and throw some grass in there. So if we come over here, take from that pile, give me 10 bales. Uh, spawn. There we go. These little guys are, oops, light enough. You can just throw them around. That's what I like about the small bales. I only have to do this like once a year. They really only need fed through the, through the winter because they uh, graze. They graze and then, you know, that pretty much carries them over through the, spring and summer fall you can see they got it they got it eaten down pretty good why that's not a thing in the base game come on giants you can do better at least we have modders to make the game better I just guessed at 10 bales. I don't know how much we're going to need exactly. Uh, I can always top them off off camera. Each one of those is 500 liters. So I got them back up to 37,000. I'm not sure percentage wise what that is. Yeah, it like barely moved it. So we need to get quite a bit of grass moved over. But anywho, let's head back to the farm, get some water. I would want to try to pull a full water trailer up this hill, but I think we can pull an empty one up. We'll see how it goes. A little bypass here. Looking forward to getting another growth stage on those trees. Whee! <laughs> Come on, physics. Oh, it looks so bare over here. It's going to look bare for a year or two until those saplings get grown up. All right, pour on the speed coming up through here. Been fairly crowded over here. Got a bunch of stuff parked. Most of the equipment's back over at the farm again. I ended up cutting down one tree because I couldn't uh, couldn't turn sharp enough over there to set up some of the routes I was setting up. So need to get that tree taken care of. Start filling. See, so yeah, I really liking this hose. Like I showed, you can uh, you can wash stuff with it too. Pretty neat. over here. I need to get some koi or something put in there. Now this water thing says free, but it does charge you a tiny little bit. Like 10 bucks per thousand liters. Whatever. Close enough, I guess.
All right. I mean, the, the Mahindra's feeling that load, but I think it can handle it. Tires are a little bit poochy. But no trouble coasting down that hill. <laughs> uh, do I want to go down this hill? And think about that. Maybe, maybe we should have went the other way. So, well, let's let's use cruise to maybe keep our speed under control. Yeah, no problem. We. Now, in reality, you probably wouldn't want to do this, but it's good enough to work in-game. Because the uh, water is quite heavy. Alright, so there's a little over 2,000 liters. Where does that get us with the water? <laughs> it's, it's sort of moved it. So, I've got a lot of trips to do. I will probably utilize uh, auto drive for some of that. But anywho, that'll be it for this video. We're just taking care of the sheep. And then I think the next logging project is going to be down here on this land right here that we're looking at. I've already got, I think, all the rocks busted out of there. So it's good to go. And uh, we'll be logging that off. And then I think that's... I'm getting pretty close to having everything logged off that I want to have logged off. Let's just go take a quick look at the map while we're talking about it. Uh, we might have some more over... Well, I guess we do have this. We do have some more over here. So we're going to be logging off this part. I forgot 30, how big 36 is. So we got, we got a lot of logging to do over the winter. But 37 is pretty well taken care of. Uh... 33, where's 32? Those are clear. There was probably some stuff on 35. At 35 and 31 got a little more. And then 34. We've cleared out a lot of this, but there's still some we can get. And then I don't think I ever replanted up here. So I need to get that done. Still plenty to do. That'll be it for this video. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Not sure when you're watching this, but hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I'll catch you in the next adventure. Take care. Wow, that's, that's a really poor excuse for a horn. Come on, Mahendra. Pathetic. <laughs>